What is going on, traders? Welcome back to The Traveling Trader. Happy Thursday to you. It's been a few days since I made a video. Since then, the market has obviously rallied. We're sitting at $250 billion market cap. And as most of you know, at least those that are in the Discord or the premium traders community, you know that I don't watch a lot of crypto YouTube. So I was actually surprised to see how many people were expecting there to be a dump on Bitcoin. And they were not expecting a rally or a bullish rally on Bitcoin. Now, obviously I'm not a fortune teller, nobody is, but I did say that, you know, my my outlook on Bitcoin, my major outlook on Bitcoin was bullish for the long term. Obviously, nobody can predict how hard something is going to rally within a short period of time, but there were bullish signs all around us. That is why I was surprised that there was such bearish sentiment among certain traders that were voicing disbelief at this rally. And apparently they were getting these ideas from you know, other YouTubers or, or maybe Twitter or, you know, wherever they, they get their general sentiment about the market from. I was constantly sending out long-term alerts on BNB, on other coins, on BTC, on Cardano, etc. But if you look at Bitcoin on the one month chart, you'll see this is the 21 month EMA. And I was saying that last month in April, we closed just above the 21 month EMA. And that is likely to signify the beginning of some sort of bull run because this is a key indicator here. This is a key time frame for a, an exponential moving average on the monthly based on Bitcoin's history. You could see the stochastic was oversold. The volume was just starting to pick up again and the RSI was curling upwards. The MACD hasn't even touched yet, right? So long term, I do think we have a long way to go for a major bullish rally. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to hit 20K again this year, but there is quite a bit of room to grow according to these oscillators. You see that the histogram on the monthly, obviously the MACD and other oscillators move a lot more slowly on the monthly than they do on the weekly or the daily. But you see the histogram hasn't even turned green yet, even, even though we had this major, you know, four month bull run that took us from 3200 to where we are now at 8000. Let me just pause here real quick and say that if you need help with technical analysis or would like one on one coaching on how to read charts, how to set up proper portfolio distribution, etc. That link is in the description. I take a max of 10 people per month. We are currently maxed out for May, but we might have some slots opening up for June. So hit me up. Link is in the description. Also, if you want access to the trade alerts, we do stock trade alerts as well. That link is also in the description. Looking at the one week for Bitcoin, you see here that you know we crossed above the 50 week moving average which is what propelled this bullish rally again another bullish sign looking at this adam and eve pattern on on the one week chart crossing above the 50 it was just a matter of time before we saw a bull run and again i'm not saying that you know it's predictable that we would see a bull run from the breakout of the 50 up to past eight thousand dollars nobody can predict the extent but there were bullish signs the, the there was the MACD crossover, the RSI was trending up, the stochastic was trending up, and you see the on balance volume trending up as well. Looking at the one day, you see the golden cross between the 50 and the 200, the golden cross, the minor golden cross between the 100 and the 200, and obviously uh, the volume again trending upwards. Now, on the one day, here is, you know, obviously the shorter time frames is where you would look to see what Bitcoin's immediate movements are, right? So don't forget, people people always talk about Bitcoin in the in terms of moving up or down. But Bitcoin actually has a really strong tendency to trade sideways over the years, right? We tr we traded sideways between September and November in this extremely tight range. We were sideways between February and April before the the breakout to above 5000. Uh, even if you look at, at the previous bull rallies, we traded <clears throat> sideways for quite a long time in 2017, you know, between June and uh, or between May and July in 2017, again, between August and September in 2017. So Bitcoin has a strong tendency to trade sideways. And it very well could be the case here that we do trade sideways somewhere between 7,800 and 8,300 for quite a while. I'm not saying that is the case, but it is a possibility. So we don't have to think 
think of things as, you know, is it moving violently up or down? And that also would be in line with previous bullish rallies, right? Because that would give the alts time to catch up versus BTC. So where do we see support currently? Well, there are a few levels of support at the moment, right? So we're, we currently just broke below 8,000. We're at 79 something. There is clearly, if you look at the four hour to try to, because, you know, because the one day is so parabolic, sometimes you have to zoom in a little further in order to establish what support and resistance levels exist. So there's clear support between 7,700 and 7,800 here, right? If you draw it out on, on a trend line, there is also support at previous resistance here at around 7,500. And then there is major support at around 6,800, right? We do not want to fall below 6,800. And then obviously you have the moving averages, which you can use as support as well. So there's clear resistance at 8,300. We've tried to break that a few times already since Monday, and we haven't been able to do so, right? And I, I think that there is a lot of short pressure at 8,300. People will be opening shorts up at that level now because it is an established resistance zone. And the more that that resistance is, is retested, the more it becomes valid, right? So 8,300 is definitely our strong resistance right now. Now, if you look at the longer term picture, right? <clears throat> As long as Bitcoin remains above the 21 month EMA, we're fine. And that, you know, fortunately, that is at a pretty low level currently. That's at around 5750. And again, we're at around 8000 now. So we do have a long way to go in, to, to still keep this uptrend maintained on the monthly. And if we look at the weekly, uh, you know, you, we want to stay above the 100 week moving average now, which is this yellow line, which is at around 6700, which corroborates the major support that, that we see one of the major support levels that we see on the one day. So I would say that taking all of those time frames into account, a retest of 6800 is not out of the question. As a matter of fact, it is really typical for a coin to go back and try to retest a, a level of resistance, which now becomes support, right? So we have 6,800, a resistance level for months that we saw in 2018, which we currently broke out of now. And it is not out of the question to go back and retest this. I'm not saying we will, but we have to monitor it. And if Bitcoin starts falling and breaking down these support levels that we see at 7,700, at 7,500, then a 6,800 retest is very likely. And guess what we'll be doing at 6,800? up more Bitcoin. I will be sending those out in the trade alerts. Again, if you want access to the trade alerts, link is in the description. Some of the successful trades that we've seen recently, 20% on ONT, 33% on LTC, 40% on BNB. And obviously, you know, if you've been following the market for the last few days, <clears throat> you know, you would say that, you know, you could have put your money in any alt and it would have have risen. Yes. But again, as I was saying earlier in the beginning of the video, it's most people were surprised by this rally and they didn't have any money in these coins. They had it on the sideline. And, you know, as soon as they saw the market rally, they wanted to FOMO in the market at the high. So I'm not saying that that I'm a genius because I predicted those coins would rally. But based on support and resistance recognition, as well as technical analysis, if you entered, you wouldn't be caught empty handed during the bull rally. And that's what was sent out in the trade alerts. So again, long term outlook, as I've been saying for the last 50 videos, still very bullish but a retest of previous support or resistance that is now support is not out of the question. As a matter of fact, it is very typical in the markets as we've seen before. So look out for 7,700, 7,500 and 6,800. And on the flip side, a really bullish scenario is if we retest 8,300 and break it. And I'll be reloading Bitcoin at those key support levels. Anyway, that is it for this video. If you have any questions or you have a comment, leave that in the comment section below. Leave a thumbs up if you got anything out of this video. Join our trading group on the Discord. The premium trading group gives you access to the crypto alerts. It costs less than you know a couple cups of coffee a month. For the diamond traders and above, you get access to the stock trade alerts as well as you're entered automatically into the 0.03 Bitcoin drawing that I do every month. Subscribe to the channel. Stay safe out there. Peace.